Hey digital fam, my name is John D. Saunders. In today's digital block, I wanna show you a few ways to look at your Facebook ad competition to do some research to find out what they're doing and how you can improve on that content. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I hope all is well. This is gonna be another quick video. I just wanna show you how to do competitive research with Facebook ads. So if you're a tech brand or some type of brand that has a competitor online that you'd like to see what they're doing, what their engagement's like, and what content's working for them, these cool tools and free will help you out in regards to finding out what they're doing and how you can repurpose and improve that content. Let's go ahead and dive into my computer. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you two options to do some competitive research on what your competitors are running on Facebook ads. So I wanna briefly go through this and then I'll go into my computer and show you how it's done. So this is gonna give you a good idea of what ads are working for your competitors and what you can emulate and improve on based on what they're doing. So number one is using Ad Espresso for ideas from bigger brands. Now this is a cool little tool where you can look at ad examples. The really big things to look for are placement, of the ads, is it on the newsfeed, is it mobile? You also wanna look at the objective, meaning what are they trying to achieve with that ad? And then also the engagement, how many comments, shares, and so forth that's getting. Then the second option, you can actually do straight through Facebook by using Facebook sponsored ads for ideas and ad structure. So I'm gonna show you how to do that by managing your ad preferences and to look at ad design and ad copy to get a really big idea. So let's start with Adspresso. So I'm gonna go there, this is the landing page. Uh, the link is right here. I'm also going to put that in the blog as well. So here, you can search for ads by advertiser, text, URL, and more. So this is gonna give you a general idea of what some of the big brands are running. And if you scroll, you can see some of those top performing ads. So I'm going to do GoPro, and then you can also look at the placements. So you can do newsfeed, mobile, right column. Most of our ads are either Newsfeed Desktop or Newsfeed Mobile, just because the content looks more organic as it's in their feed and it's easier to track, right? And then we can look at all industries. So we can look at all the industries they offer. So if your business is in food, you might wanna look in the food category. Then we'll look at objectives. So objectives can be a mobile app if you wanna get an install, if you want them to like your Facebook page. So based on what you're trying to achieve, you can look at ads, comparable ads in each retrospect. So let's do awareness for GoPro and then let's hit find ads now. Okay. So they found three ad examples, right? Let me click this one. So I click this one and it gives me all of the information about that specific ad. Check out our hero Four lineup today and get free shipping shop now. So by looking at this ad, I can see that it had 13 likes, not many comments, not many shares. So I don't know if I would use this one as a catalyst, right? So let's go back. Okay. Now, instead of doing GoPro, I'm just going to do lead generation and hit find ads now. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down a bit, find one that I like. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. So clearance jobs, they're a career network dedicated to security cleared professionals, right? As you can see, this ad is pretty brief. It's got their logo. It's got some information up top. They had 2,900 likes, 153 comments, and 783 shares. Now that is some great engagement. So what I would look at is their placement. Okay, so they only did newsfeed desktop, so no mobile. And I look at their industries, B2B, B2C, and services. So if I was another career network, I would try to emulate this ad by using a lot of this text content, right? So I wouldn't copy it verbatim, but I would copy more so the ideals, right? So a sign up call to action, keeping this description brief, keeping this less than about 180 characters, and also maybe having a link within that text content. Okay, let's look at one more. Let's look at, instead of lead generation, let's look at sale, right? Because I'm an e-commerce store and I'm trying to sell my product. The industry I'm going to choose is travel. And now let's hit find ads now. Okay, perfect. So I have a few ads here. Uh, let's go ahead and click this one. This was on September 22nd was when this uh, ad ran, right? So we look at that pretty image, got some text on here. Um, I think that's about less than 20%, so I don't think Facebook would have issues there. Uh, this had 692 likes, 11 comments, and 28 shares, right? So what they wanted to do was their objective was to make a sale. 
So a sale could be a form action, someone going onto the website, that could be counted as a conversion or their objective, right? They also, their industries also travel and they just ran on the newsfeed desktop. So by looking at these attributes, I can get a general sense of what they're trying to achieve with these ads. Okay, now that we went through option one with Ad Espresso, I want to show you guys another option that's really cool that you can do through Facebook based on your preferences. So we're going to use Facebook sponsored ads for ideas and ad structure on competitive ads. And it's done by managing ad preferences. And I'm going to show you this option in Facebook. What you want to look out for is the ad design and the ad copy in your vertical. So Facebook creates a ad profile for every individual based on the type of content that you like, the type of content you engage on. It'll serve up ads to you based on all of that information. So usually when you're scrolling on the desktop, the second post is a paid ad, right? So boom, here's one right here from Thrive Hive. So what you want to do is anytime you see a sponsored post on Facebook that's relevant to you, you're going to hit this drop down and you're going to hit why am I seeing this? When you do that, you're going to hit manage your ad preferences. Now this part is really, really cool. So Facebook ad preferences opens up a plethora of all of the options that you as a specific Facebook user have an affinity towards. So me, I'm interested in Constant Contact, FreshBooks, Kickstarter, Small Business, Indiegogo, Entrepreneurship. These are all things that revive around my lifestyle and the content that I engage with on Facebook. So what I would do is follow my competitors on social media. So that way, by following them, I can start to aggregate some of their ads in this space. So for example, let's go to SEM Rush. So if I click SEM Rush, it's going to show me the example ads below were created by advertisers trying to reach people with this interest. So now I'm looking at all of these. By the way, SEM Rush is an online platform that lets you do competitive research via AdWords and keywords. So now I'm looking at what competitors are running, right? So it looks like a few of these are static images with a call to action button here. I can look at the images they use, the type of text, if it's long form, if it's short form. I can see all of that information here. And then you can also look at hobbies, activities, news and entertainment. So my suggestion is to start following people that you're trying to do competitive research against. So if you're a marketing company, follow other marketing companies in the space that are doing well, they'll most likely be running ads. And then anytime you have their ads, you're collecting all this data and you'll be able to see their ads and competitors ads as well. So guys, I hope this gives you a great general understanding of Facebook ad competitive research and two different ways you can do it. Here's the information one more time to give you a recap. So we looked at ad espresso for ideas from bigger brands. And then we use Facebook sponsored ads to basically look at the ad structure and ideas by managing our ad preferences on what we like. Thank you guys again for checking out our content. We appreciate every like, every comment, every subscribe. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe right here. Also like and comment below with any questions that you have. Thanks again, guys. Peace.